Have you had a roasted Japanese sweet potato, also known as satsumaimo? If you haven't tried this, it is one of the easiest, healthy, delicious snacks that kids and adults alike will love. We are testing out a few different things today about sweet potatoes and finding the best way. We're testing out yam or orange sweet potato versus Japanese sweet potato. If you haven't seen one, this is what it looks like. It's a Japanese sweet potato, looks purple on the outside, but it is white um, or yellowish on the inside. Uh, when it cooks, it gets a little bit darker, but when you just cut this open, it looks kind of white. But that is what it looks like. So we are comparing these two as well as slow cooked oven versus air fryer. We are also going to test out foiled versus not foiled in each of these methods because we are looking for the best sweet potato cooking method. So let's go. We have to do a little prep before we cook them. So grab a fork and poke away. I just poke several times for each potato and I can do that for both the ones that I am foiling and not foiling. So let's just go through that process. I'm going to do that for these. And this one I will leave right here. It's going to bake there. This one I'm going to wrap in the foil. So, and we're going to bake these separately. And then I'll poke these. And those will go there. These will go in the Breville toaster slash convection oven at 325 for one hour. It's going to take a while. Let's move on to method number two, the instant pot. So I'm doing the same thing with poking and foiling some. So there's some foiled, most not. And then this is going to be a double layer. So I'm going to put that second layer in here and do the same thing. Some foiled, some not. And we will cover it up. air fryer for 100 let's do this for 20 minutes these are pretty small so let's try it for 20 minutes okay let's check this out i put it in for 30 minutes actually because the first time it was still a little bit not quite done but that looks pretty darn soft. Let's see. I'm going to totally burn my hands here. But. Whew. Look at that. Let's open up the foil one. Okay. Let's see. Hot. Hot. Be careful. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Be careful of your fingers. Hot. Ooh, does that look a little more moist to you? It does to me. Look at that. That one has less of the break in it. That looks a lot more moist, actually. Let's give it a taste test. Taste test time. So I'm peeling it, and it does look a little falling apart-ish, but it's still soft, sweet, and ooey, gooey deliciousness. Okay. This is the one that was foiled, peels, doesn't fall apart, it peels right off, which is super, super nice. A lot more moist. The foil, the foil wins. In this one, I'll have to go try the softer, lower temperature one. Is it worth the effort? Seems like it. All right, let's try this one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hot, hot, hot. I'm going to do that same technique again. Hot. 
あちちちちあちちあちち Look at that. Okay, it does kind of fall apart on the inside. Okay, let's open up this one carefully. Carefully. This one is still a little bit, it's not as soft as, as the hard one or the other one. Yeah, I'm burning my fingertips for the purpose of this video. I hope you all appreciate it. But yeah, it's not as, um, I might put it in for a little longer actually. This is an hour in. These are definitely done. It's like squishy. Achy. Yeah, that one's not quite. Okay, let's check out this one. This is the orange sweet potato. Achy. I'd say that's pretty moist too. That is done. Let's do a side by side. Hot, hot, hot. Look pretty similar as far as texture goes, right? But I'd say this one has a lot less, like the watery content. Like, I don't know if you can tell that. Oops, I'm making a mess too. Versus that. I'm going to try that. Hot. It's just so much sweeter. My Japanese one is so much sweeter. If you haven't tried it, you seriously have to try it. Okay, hot. I think I need to try all the other ones just to make sure they're all cooked soft. Yeah, that one's super soft too. I don't know what happened to this guy. Let's see about this one. It's quite watery, as you can tell. It's like juicing. But it is soft all the way through. Hot. But that one also, I think the foil wrapped ones just maybe maybe they need a little bit more time because it's soft, but not as soft as you can tell here. I mean that one is a little bit bigger but the inside texture is just very very different just try this one though if you want it a little more intact there you go oh yeah there's still a little crunch to it okay let's put these back in so let's compare all of them side by side this is the air fryer wrapped not wrapped then we move on to the slow cooked oven wrapped not wrapped and these are all satsumai malt japanese sweet potatoes and then here is the not wrapped and wrapped i should have done that backwards but oh well but as you can see the wrapped ones in the slow cooking method just weren't as soft as these so at 325 i would definitely go not foiled i mean look at the difference even after cooking for some more but overall, the winner for me is the 400 degrees, either in the air fryer or in the oven, foiled. It's faster. It's delicious. Go try it. If you want more videos like this, go check out the Japanese recipes playlist. And remember to subscribe and like because there will be many more accessible recipes. See you in the next video.